Good morning, everybody. Um, today is February Eve, 2024, and uh, yeah, yesterday was kind of crazy. Um, yeah. So I don't know if I mentioned this before, but um. My daddy, he's a type 2 diabetic, and yesterday he was out running errands, and he was, he was bringing groceries to the car when he basically made it collapse to the ground. Uh, he was basically in the parking lot, he was like hanging to his car. And he just basically collapsed and fainted because he was feeling really dizzy. And then he ended up calling my mom. And then mom had to come get him. And, and, and then rescue was called. And he checked up on him. And, and then he was eventually sent home. And. Yeah, it was. Pretty scary. Like he, he, he easily could have gone to the car and had a really bad car accident or probably even died. So as I meant in as as I mentioned yesterday, um I'm supposed to go to a social event today, but I don't know if I'm gonna go. Depends on how daddy is. Um, daddy's feeling better, by the way, but he's still gonna go ER as soon as he can later on today. And depending on what the doctor says, um, depending on what the doctor says, um, I may or may not go event today. If not. I'll just order pizza and have pizza for dinner. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Uh, I think what probably happened is that Daddy didn't jet himself that morning because as a type 2 diabetic um, he's supposed to inject himself with insulin like every morning well basically like every day like every I don't know a couple hours especially when he eats so So yeah, that was pretty scary. Yeah, that was very scary. Anyways, uh, that's not, that's not actually why I'm doing this video today. Um, the reason why I'm actually doing this video today is because news broke yesterday that Ariane Zucker, um, who played Nicole Walker on These Are Lives, she just filed a massive lawsuit against Ken Corday and Albert Allard, the asshole producer that got fired last summer. She's now suing them and Corday Productions for sexual harassment. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, that's freezing. Ugh. And now there's a lot of like mainstream news outlets are basically reporting on it. 
And not only that, but they basically candor. They 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 candor um cause they refuse to renew her contract and they basically let her go. So if that's true, that basically means that they basically retaliated against her for like speaking out against the ongoing ongoing abuse on set, which I think it's really fucked. Nicole isn't really like one of my top favorite characters ever, necessarily, but I don't think she deserved to go through that. I mean, that was pretty fucked up. Hey, yo. Uh I actually read through some of the allegations outlined in a document uh, as reported by Deadline, and uh, it's really disgusting. Some really disgusting, messed up shit, basically. Oh god. Pretty disgusting, messed up shit, if I have to be honest. <laughs> Oh lord. Yeah, so. Oh god. It's pretty disgusting. And also, this is gonna be like the first major, major scandal. This is gonna be the- This is gonna be the second major scandal. That Jesus face in like less than a year. So it's really fucked up. And honestly, I don't know if Daisy is gonna survive this. Because if this if this shit goes to court, if Ken Corday insists on fighting this shit. And this goes to fucking court. He's probably and and um and if the court ends up ruling in favor of Ariana Zucker, Ken Corday is probably gonna have to pay her like a shit ton of money. And the resulting settlement may just end up bankrupting Corday Productions. And this could actually lead to Days getting cancelled permanently. And I mean permanently. So yeah. It sucks, so. I mean, I feel bad for the cast and crew that might end up losing their jobs if Days gets cancelled, but. Honestly, this is a long time coming. I mean, this show has not been good for a very long time. And even with its move to Peacock, it really has not gotten any better. It's actually gotten a lot fucking worse. And all the other women that Albert Allard victimized... I hope they join the fucking lawsuit too. And I also hope that Joe Lee sues Albert Allers ass too. I mean As far as I know, I don't think As far as I know, I don't think um Albert Allard did anything Sexually in a, inappropriate with Jen. I mean, Jenna said that Albert's been really friendly with her and shit. But, uh. 
she could potentially have a case for wrongful termination. Because I really do think she got basically fucked over. I mean, what happened to Jem was awful, but I think what these ladies went through might actually be ten times worse. With the inappropriate touching, groping, all that fucking shit. It's disgusting. Really, really fucking disgusting. So yeah, uh, it's really disgusting. So yeah, there's a good possibility that Daisy, you know, I really do think that Daisy is probably gonna be done for good. You know, I always have the feeling that these are lives. I figure that it's gonna go on all the way at least to its 60th anniversary, and then that's it. I don't think I don't think it's gonna go on for much longer after that. Or, I really don't. And, I can't help but wonder if, um... Oh god. I can't help but wonder if maybe... Maybe the foreign fire was like... Albert Allers major like fuck you against like the cast and crew or whatever. I guess that's possible, but I'm just not really sure. I don't know. Anyways, um, we'll see what happens, I guess. Um If if this goes to court I would- I, I could definitely see this playing out on like core TV and shit. And maybe we'll have the Law and Crime YouTube channel. Like, with, with their talking heads, like blabbering on and on and on about the case and spend like a whole hour debating all the points and shit. I could totally see it happening. And... I guess it remains to be seen who else might end up testifying or coming forward. And there are a couple things I definitely want to know. Like, I want to know who was that actress I was making that anti Semitic comment back in n November 2022. And also, who was that male actor that was touching, you know, female cast members, crew members, like, who, who was touching, like, other people inappropriately? Like, I'm really curious about that, but I guess who the hell knows, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I think that's basically it for now. Uh, I don't know. I think what I might end up doing is maybe do some writing and, and, and maybe today I'll do a new episode of Culture Crease. I'll probably record a new episode. Just do like fan fictions and shit. I don't know. That's... That's probably what, get, what I'm gonna end up doing. I don't know. Maybe. That's probably what, get, what I'm gonna end up doing. We'll see, I guess. 
We'll see you, yes. Anyway, so I think that's basically it for this video. Um, if you like this video, um, subscribe and I'll see you guys later. This is Phoenix Girl signing off for now.